Hello ladies. Well some of you wanted to know how to set up a peg loom and I thought it doesn't take two minutes to do so just a short video to show you what you have to do. Uh, first of all I've got my husband to make uh, I've got a block of wood to make the, the loom itself and then I've got him to drill holes about three quarters of an inch apart and in each hole you need a dowel. These dowels are about eight centimetres long and at the bottom of the dowel about uh, one and a half centimetres up drill a hole big enough to take a needle and some wool. Right into each hole then you've got a dowel, thread your wool the length that you want the, the uh, finished fabric, finished woven piece. Just thread the, the wool through, bring it through and then pop it into the hole. And I've done that with all of the pegs that I've got on here. Um, two, four, six, eight, ten. The 16 on here. And uh, it's about 32 inches, 32 centimetres long, that's uh, about one foot one inch. Um, he used a piece of, uh, looks like, yeah, six centimetres by three for the wood. And then I'll show you how you start off once you've threaded each of these pieces of wool through. You can use any type of yarn, but the thicker the yarn, uh, the better it turns out. You can just find the yarn for you. Right, I found some yarn. Uh, the chunkier the yarn, the better. It grows quicker and it's quite nice and soft, the, the end result. So I'll just start at either end, doesn't really matter. And what you need to do, I'll show you from the end. Wrap around the first hole, miss the second one, wrap around the third, miss the fourth, go around the fifth, so you're alternating with your wool until you get to the end. Try and keep your tension even all along. That's neither too tight, neither too loose. So just a nice even tension. When you get to the end, wrap it all the way round. Don't forget that. And then your stitches won't fall off it when you finish your piece. So do the same again, weave in between the pegs alternately. And then when you get to the end, don't forget to wrap it around that first peg. See how quickly it grows. Wrap it round the end. Wrap it round the end. Now can you see how I've done that? Now to bring all these stitches onto these lengths of wool at the front, pick up a peg, take it back into the hole. Pick up a peg, take it back into the hole. 
and each time you do that you're losing the, the wall onto the front row of in my case green thread so pick up put back that all along. You can do it as little or as often as you want. As long as you've... Uh, some like to wait until they're right to the top before they fetch the pegs out and bring their wool forward. Just hope you'll be able to see what I'm doing. And then carry on as before. Just adjust it as you go. Just pull these green threads. And that's basically it, ladies. Can you see that? As I said, don't forget when you get to the ends, wrap your wool around that first one and come back again. Now when you're ready to take your work off, the loom itself. So when your fabric is down here, take the first two, the first thread, two threads and the second two and just knot them together. And the third and fourth, knot them together. Fifth and sixth, knot them together. Do that all along the row so that you've got a knotted edge and these threads can't fall off. Now, as no one's shown me how to do this, so it was all sort of guesswork, when you take off, when you're finished, and you take off these threads at the top, you've got a loop. So you, you've got to cut these to get it off the dowel. So I'll cut it and do the same again. Go get the first thread and the second thread and knot them as you do here. Knot the two threads together. And um, you'll have a piece of work with fringing at either end. Uh, I bought this purposely to, to have a go at um, making a rag rug and then perhaps uh, join, joining the, the pieces. But um, thinking about it, I think I'd rather get um, a longer piece of wood and more dowels and do it that way. Um, so they haven't got to join anything. This is ideal if you want to do just small pieces like those twiddle muffs that um, I've just completed. Um, they do come along very quickly. Um, if you can't get into it or it doesn't appeal to you, I find that um, it's the sort of thing that children like to do because it's easy, it's quick. Um, it's not like knitting where some find it difficult to knit or some weaving looms are quite intricate but this is, is fairly basic and uh, it works quite well. Now I don't know whether you've been able to see that very clearly um, so forgive me um, I'm not feeling too good today again with this awful flu um, so I hope I've explained myself as best I can. Uh, any questions you can just give me a quick email or comment in the box. <coughs> but, um, thank you.
thanks for looking in ladies if I'm being any help just let me know bye for now bye